Hey Pit Monsters, what is up? Today we got a beautiful pork rib roast. Look at this beautiful pork rib roast. Absolutely gorgeous, nice big fat cap on there. We're gonna be cooking this up in our barbecue, which is not, not here yet. It's supposed to be here. We gotta, we gotta wait for that barbecue. They're coming. Awesome. I've been waiting for this. This is a good opportunity. Hey. Barbecue, barbecue. Yeah, man. Nice. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you very much, brother. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, you gonna help me set it up? I'll help you set it up. Oh, great. <laughs> nice. So this is the Gateway Smoker. Awesome. Gateway my drum smoker. Oh, gateway drum smoker. Gateway drum smoker, very important. So this is my first time actually cooking on a Gateway drum smoker. So I'm excited to get this thing started. Brad's here to help me set it up. And uh, well, let's get this thing fired up. We'll put in a fresh batch of charcoal and light it up. And uh, now what? Now <laughs> what? Uh, we just let some of the charcoal get lit, and then once that happens, put the lid on there, let it come to temperature, you're ready to cook. It's way too easy. <laughs> it's, it's surprisingly simple. <laughs> it's too easy. I can do it. Thank you for setting up for me. Thank you for uh, bringing our, this smoker over, and uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. Hey, enjoy the grill. Thank you very much. So I'm really glad that we got the delivery of this drum smoker just in time. It's a beautiful, beautiful drum smoker, this gateway drum smoker. and. I'm just like, I'm used to these ugly drum smokers, but this is like, it looks really good. It feels really sturdy. And I think it's, it's gonna work perfect. It's already set the temperature. We've got it running between 280 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 140 degrees Celsius and 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 150. So what we wanna do is we wanna have a roasting temperature, let the meat slowly come up the temperature, and then when we're finished, we're gonna sear it off. To make sure that we got the perfect temperature, we're gonna use the new Flame Boss 400 temperature controller. Let's get it out of the box and set it up. Look at that. That is a nice solid looking controller. I got the universal version with all kinds of adapters. I think this is the one that we need. So we'll get this thing hooked up and set it up with our smartphone, hook it up to our Wi-Fi so we can go anywhere and still control our pit. We'll set the Flame Boss controller up on our gateway drum smoker, attach the adapter and then hook it up to our Wi-Fi. We got beautiful pork rib ropes and we really want the flavors of the pork to speak. But we're going to add some flavor to it as well. I got a nice rub to go with it. For our spices, we're going to use some fennel seeds, some sage and some thyme. We're going to grind that down. As a base for our rub, I'm not going to use salt and pepper. I'm going to use Blues Hawk Bold and Beefy. To that, we're also going to use Blues Hawk Sweet and Savory, just to add a little bit of color. So we want to get that rub on the meat side. And of course, we got this beautiful fat cap. We need to work on that as well. We'll start with that by slicing into it. This way the meat is protected and the fat gets the maximum opportunity to render down and crispen up. We'll put some fleur de sel on top of that fat cap. I really want to get that salt in there. We'll put our beautiful home mix rub on. Well, that's enough preparing. Time to get this thing on the barbecue. We'll put our grill grate in. So we'll put the pit probe on the grill grate. And we get the right temperature for the controller. We'll put the meat on the grill. Put the pit probe in. Close the lid and let the Flame Boss 400 bring the gateway up to temperature, which is 140 degrees Celsius. That's around 280 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, do we have to do anything? Well, um, uh, basically, we don't have to do much. You know, this, this thing uh, kind of like operates itself, especially with the Flame Boss on. It's like, there's, we can do anything we want to do. But uh, the thing is, we got direct heat from underneath, so we might want to flip it around. We, we could actually check it right now. So I'm just gonna quickly flip this around, top side down. Look at that, got a beautiful bit of color on the bottom. Let's close the lid quickly because the temperature is rising up fast. So we flipped it around, all the juices are running down into that fire, creating a lot of smoke and a lot of steam, which will help with the cooking, but it's also gonna create a beautiful flavor profile. We've been smoking our pork rib roast fat side down for a while now. We want to make sure that the fat doesn't render down too much and we get that dark smoke. We want to keep it light. 
Ooh, look at that. We got a beautiful crispy fat. It ran her down, it crispened up. It's looking really, really good. Now we want to wait until the core temperature comes up to 63 degrees Celsius. We reach our desired core temperature of 63 degrees Celsius. So it's time to take it off. Look at that, what a beauty. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it looks. It's absolutely fantastic. But what we want to do now is just give it a little final sear on that crust. I'm leaving the lid open to the Gateway Drum Smoker and this is gonna come up to temperature really, really quick. I'll take off the flame boss and you can see that the charcoal is getting up to temperature really, really quick. When it's good and hot, we're going to put our rib roast straight on there. This looks perfect, let's take it off the grill. That fennel, it just comes out, but together with these blues hog rubs, it likes, it pops open in your nose. Fantastic, and then listen to this. Super, super crunchy. I'm just gonna pick one off here and eat it. Oh. <laughs> that rendered out fat, mm. To me, that's the best part. Let's slice into it. Oh, look at how juicy that is. Absolutely perfect. This looks really, really good. Really promising. I think we just made the perfect pork roast. We got some of that smoke ring on there, a little bit of pink on the outside. We got that crunchy and crispy pork fat, which is really salty and tasty. And then the rub on the bottom. Oh man, this is gonna taste amazing. Look at that. We got a bit of crispy. We got the outside. We got the juicy inside. Let's try this. Mm. Mm. This is so juicy even so close to the outside. I love how juicy this pork rib roast has become. That's fantastic. You got the three best things. You got the crispy pork fat, you got the juicy inside, and then a great rub to go with it. Man, this is fantastic. I just wanna add an easy sauce to go with this pork roast. I'm going to put this pan on my little stove, let it warm up a little bit, and then put in our original Blues Hog barbecue sauce. We'll wait for this sauce to warm up, wait for that syrupy bubble, then we can take it off and pour it onto our beautiful pork rib roast. This sauce is so syrupy and thick, but when you heat it up, it has that perfect shiny glaze. <laughs> it smells good, but will it taste good? There we go. Mm. I love this sauce. It's such a sweet sauce and it has that like, I don't know, it's a little like a pineapple flavor to it. And, but main, main thing is that it's like sweet and really complements the pork. I love that. It works really well with this dish and together with that rub, it's a big fat complement to that pork rib roast. Absolutely fantastic. The Gateway Drum Smoker together with that Flame Boss controller, they did an amazing job. I didn't almost have to do anything. It cooked itself basically and look at the result it's mind-blowing i hope you guys like this recipe as much as i do and if you did leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below i would love to know what you guys are going to cook for the holiday season and uh, i want to say a big thank you to our patreons and our youtube members see you guys in the next video until then eat smakelijk and keep on grilling